This wonderful figure from the IPCC is looking at the fingerprint of climate change. All of the different plots go from just more recently than 1900 up to 2000. That was the time that they could do best for this. Um, and in each plot, the black line is the history of temperature. This is for the globe, this would be the, the globe's land, the globe's ocean, and then continent by continent up here, like Asia and Europe and so on. So in each case, the black is what happened. The blue, models have been taken, and they have been told what nature did, what the sun was doing, what the volcanoes were doing, and the models then said, this is the climate change that nature has caused. In the pink in each case, the model has been told what nature did and what humans did. And what you will see if you start down here, for example, with the global land, is that the warming back here is plausibly caused by nature. The sun got a little bit brighter, and um, coincidentally the volcanoes quit blocking the sun quite as much as they had done earlier. But recently the dimming of the sun and some big volcanoes have tried to cool it off, yet the temperature went up. And so what you can see in every one of these panels is that you can explain the climate changes that were happening early in the 20th century by natural causes, because the human causes were not terribly large. But by the time you get to the later 20th century, if anything, nature tried to cool it off a little bit, yet the temperature went up. And so what we see across the globe from Australia to North America is that the fingerprint of climate change is now that of humans, not that of nature. Other fingerprinting exercises give the same answer, which is that we have taken over from nature in controlling climate change.